autofocus reach around. Alright. I want to touch on a subject, on a concept here that's uh, vitally important to your life. It's something that everybody talks about, you know what I'm saying? There's really nothing new under the sun. It's just, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. It's how effective you are at communicating your take on the concept to the people, you know? it's um, Everybody's got a different view on stuff, too, so uh, I don't like to sit here and, like, copy other people's shit, you know? Because, obviously, like, Glenn and Cameron t always talks about this shit, and a lot of other people do, but um, it's not like I, I mean, if I wanted to try to sit here and do and talk about things that no one else has ever talked about in on the history of YouTube, there's just nothing really, I would just be sitting here doing videos of like me just not talking, I guess. But uh, see, this, this is like, basically you can get this concept. Uh, if you ever listen to Too Short, which you totally should, get in where you fit in. Some things, uh, the moral of that song basically is like, you can relate to Short Dog, even if you're not just playing hoes or whatever his hustle is. You know, some people have selling drugs. It seems like in the rap game, your only hustles available to you are selling drugs or pimping hoes, which is just totally stupid and unrealistic. And But it's hard. I mean, try to come up with something else. Good fucking luck, dude. Come up with something that's going to catch on. It's not that easy, but it's happening. You know, I thought it was going to kind of happen with that Macklemore thing. Like when I heard somebody was doing a, I, I heard like a rapper did a song about thrift shops. So I'm assuming... Oh, man, that dude beat us to the punch. You know what I'm saying? He's probably rapping about uh, buying and flipping shit and making money. Because, rap, you know, rapper. And then you go listen to the song. And it's just a stupid ass. Some hipster shopping at Goodwill for kicks, basically, when he doesn't have to. It's like a joke. Like, whatever, dude. Some of us out here actually have to shop at Good. Well, I shouldn't even say that. Because up here in the Northwest, our Goodwills are so expensive where it's like... Finding a friggin' diamond in the rough to find, like, a decent Nike shirt for, like, four bucks, four or five bucks. So, it's, a lot of times you end up just going to the outlets or TJ Maxx or Ross or something like that, you know what I'm saying? And you can get it cheaper than the shitty-ass Goodwill wants for their old-ass, God knows where they've been products, you know what I'm saying? So, everything ain't for everybody, you know what I'm saying? You can't be one of those people, basically, that, like see someone do something and you go out and try to do it the exact same way it's like dude uh a lot of times that won't work out because certain things aren't suited to you you have to know yourself and not a lot of people are going to usually be able to uh give you any input on that because you know yourself better than anyone probably that you know uh so you know, you don't want to be going too much, just do it. It's, there's a lot that can be gathered from other people when you, you want to kind of look more at like their, um, at their friggin' mind patterns. That's what it is. Like you want to see how their mind approaches stuff and how they, how their mind functions on a general level. And then you can take and transpose that over to you and that information will apply to you. You know, like, uh, it's just a lot of people, you want to kind of do what's around you. Like if you have things that are, that are available to you right there and you already know about it or whatever, that's kind of what you get into, you know, unless it just totally doesn't work for you. And some people are forcing you in to try to do something. Then you have to be able to be a man or a woman and stand up and say, nah, I know that ain't going to work for me. I know deep down. Because a lot of times you will know. But you don't really want to say anything. Because it's so like awkward and just uncomfortable. To sit there and tell people really what you think. And what's real and what's really going on. You know what I'm saying? You, Someone's trying to help you out. And offer you like an opportunity. And there is, it's kind of hard to like delicately be like. You know. I kind of got to turn that down because that's not for me. It sounds like it might be really good for someone, but that's not necessarily for me. And that right there will save you a lot of time because people will get into stuff and it's like, dude, you should have known damn well that that wasn't going to work out for you. 
by just looking at it. But for some reason, people get caught up in other factors and they just kind of go into stuff or a lot copying, trying to be like someone else. You see, oh yeah, that dude's doing this, so I'm going to go do exactly that. Even though I have like no way to do it, I don't have the skills for that, I don't have the opportunities to get into that business or whatever, but you're going to sit there and like force yourself into it and then probably find out later that it's not even something that suits you. So, uh, basically, when you look at people, look, try to get what you can out of everything. Even if someone, even if you think, that motherfucker isn't even doing anything close to what I'm doing. You know, like, he's, he's friggin' may as well be on another planet, because that's not my industry. Well, a lot of things carry over from industry to industry, and that's why... A lot of things will relate from your past experiences. They'll relate up to the future stuff because it's all general, general stuff, you know. People have talked about this before. Go check out other people and listen to what they're saying. But, you know, just here's just another, per uh, this is just my take on it. You can hear it from somebody else. Uh, get in where you fit in. Quit trying to jam a square peg into a round hole. And that includes also working, you know, like, don't necessarily just fall into the whole thing where I think I need, if your family is, like, training you that that job thing is the way to go and you know damn well that it's not going to work for you, then get, don't engage in that, you know, do maybe temporarily or whatever you got to do to survive, but try to move away from that and same with the other thing if you aren't going to be able to do it like independently and you can s physically sit there and go to work every day on time day in day out and you uh are not just 100 percent miserable doing that then there's a lot you can do with the job thing you can get there's a lot of really good jobs out there companies need not everyone can be a ceo you know, companies need really good workers and that works out for a lot of people because there's a lot of people that don't want the stress and responsibility. They just want to make some money, have a good life, you know, be taken care of because really, how much do you really need, you know? How many millions do you need to have a decent life? Not a whole lot, depending on what your aspirations are or whatever, but you can live damn good for like six figures a year, no problem. And, uh, yeah, so... The job thing, and then if you have side hustles going on, that's how a lot of people jobs get ahead is, you know, you work and then you have side hustles that you don't have to be under that much stress and responsibility. It's all about weighing choices. You know, you got to sit there with your scale and you have to just think about stuff, you know, don't be jumping into shit for stupid ass reasons because, oh, I saw that dude doing it. It was, and it's like so like lame too, dude, to just do exactly what you're seeing someone else do it's just i don't know sometimes it works sometimes it's just totally lame if you can make it work go ahead because there's plenty of things where people have just showed me onto stuff that i've seen and i've been like wow dude that works really good extremely good like i am gonna start doing that now and just making a bunch of money. Thank you for showing me that, dude. So, <laughs> there's no set rules. There's no... It's all like a lot of variables. And and uh, creating those like uh, situation in your mind where you... You got to be able to... I don't know if, if people can do that. Different people have different skills as far as this goes. And different like abilities but there's a lot to be said for sitting there and in your mind trying to weigh things against each other and weigh different things look at different things everything's not just black white cut dry it's a lot of thinking complex thought you can't not everything in life is just a friggin two minute mcdonald's happy meal uh, I know who to vote for every time because I'm a Democrat or I'm a Republican, so I don't have to think about nothing in my life. I just uh, already know what to do. Well, that's a pretty dumb way to live. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be living like that. If you are trying to uh, succeed in life and not get caught up in all the stupid bullshit that's like foreseeable, 
that you sh really should, if you do your due diligence on life, you should be able to foresee a lot of this stuff coming. But the thing is, people don't want to think. They don't, like, want to take that time to sit there and, like, weigh shit out in their head properly, uh, make decisions, you know, decision-making. Maybe you're not the best decision-maker, too. That's another thing. So... Maybe you need to build relationships with people where you get in a situation. Maybe you don't want to drive the ship. Maybe you're not the kind of person that will, can just drive the ship. But maybe you could be the engineer or the cook. Those are still really good jobs that pay really good. Almost, you know, it's kind of a balance. Like, is it really worth it to be that guy who's taking on all the risk and try and has to make these decisions and all these people's future are basically in their hand and they have to be able to pull through and they have to live with it if they don't make the right choice. So, you know, just choices, choices, choices. You have, when they say you got a lot of choices in life, they ain't joking. You have, even when things that you think aren't a choice are a choice. So, all right, later.